Hey, what up, Z-Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to inform you that the double XP is up and running. So, the event starts on the 4th of June and will end on the 8th of June at 12 p.m. ET time zone. So, it starts at 12 p.m. ET and it ends on 12 p.m. ET. Also, in this video, I'd like to cover uh, one of the questions, does the intelligence really play a goal on how much XP you get, right? We'll do a couple of tests, a couple of shots, a couple of things. And then I'll uh, share a little bit of tips and tricks of my own. And then I will cover on what am I planning to do in order to get all those level ups. Because I actually want to level up like crazy during these double XP for a reason of the upcoming legendary part cards. So, let's not waste some time, jump right into it. Alright, so as I said, the double XP is up, so have happy hunting, and now let's get into does the intelligence actually play a role on how much XP you get, and yes, it does, and I'm gonna prove it to you by killing two different uh, mobs without XP uh, boosters, just intelligence, okay? So if I'm inside my power armor, I will be having 19 intelligence. And if I will leave my power armor and use my full unyielding set, which buffs up my intelligence to 34, as you can see here, and that's once again without any food buffs, without any other stuff, just like that, just for these testings. Of course, if you increase your intelligence, you'll get more XP. But anyway, so the targets that we're going to be killing is the, uh, what was it? Was the, well, the top level. Deathclaw, the glowing Deathclaw, which you can find, as far as I know for now, I'm going to try to look up with some more locations, in Thunder Mountain Substation TM02, and at the uh, cave, 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 Hopewell Cave, so that's where we're going to be killing our level 91 glowing Deathclaws, and then we're going to also be killing the... Uh, glowing behemoth level 95 so he spawns here at this pond over here there's a pond so I placed my tent over here and sometimes he also spawns uh, at the abandoned uh, bog town uh, the actual workshop it defends it so sometimes not always so if you fast travel to polygon v13 uh, you can also get some big creatures over there to get some XP sometimes snally gasters to, to get the acid and the, the, the target is the behemoth with super mutants which is also good because you also get a lot of XP from uh, super mutants but anyway let's stop talking and stop and start testing <laughs> alright so let's begin with killing our uh, glowing deathclaw level 91 so in power armor I have uh, as I've mentioned already where's my stats just to show you that I don't, I don't have any uh, buffs in terms of XP now if it goes stats, intelligence is 19. So by killing with these stats without any buffs or whatsoever, I should be getting 777 XP from the glowing uh, Deathclaw level 91. So there we go. Target down and I get 77, 777 XP as I've mentioned. Plus you get all these goodies. Now, if you are curious where to find them, this one I killed at the Hopewell Cave. Now, let's go and make a test, but this time we're going to be killing him uh, with a higher intelligence, and it's going to be uh, intelligence 34. Alright, so here we are. We're going to kill him with, this time, more intelligence. So, my intelligence is 34. And as you can see, we do not have any XP buffs whatsoever. So there we go. Let's go and say hello to his friend. Now, I killed him before, and I should be getting 1000 XP. 1000 XP. And the difference is huge. That's 223 XP difference per Deathclaw. So, uh, this is first confirmation that intelligence actually plays a role on uh, how much XP you get when you're um, killing things, doing events, anything, whatever the source of uh, uh, XP you get, the intelligence does play a role. So next what we're gonna do is cure myself a little bit, lower my intelligence, 
and do one more test. This one I didn't uh, test out yet, but we should be, in theory, getting less XP from the kill. So this time we're going to have Intelligence 29. So let me server hop and uh, get the Deathclaw killing part. Alright, so here we are, and let's test it out. I'm going to show you my stats once more. As you can see, no XP buffs, and intelligence is 29. So now we should be getting uh, less than 1000 XP as we got from my 34 XP. So I really hope that this is going to be the correct death flaw. Come on, come on. Oh, there he is. Yep, the correct death flaw is coming. Woo, he's angry! I just had to level up right now, didn't I? Kokoroch level up, let's do that again. So, once again, intelligence is 29. So, I should be getting less XP right now. 926. Boom. Now let's do it something else. Let's actually increase my intelligence. See if I'm going to get more than 1000 XP from killing these death claws. Alright, so final test. Uh, intelligence is 34, right? Right now we're going to eat some scorched beast brains to increase it by 3. So if we go with there, my intelligence now is 37, right? Let's go and uh, kill our death claw and we should be getting more than 1000 XP this time so where are you my friend there he is voila I'm 45 more <laughs> and uh, just to prove you I do not have any XP buffs over here as you can see So yeah, intelligence does increase the amount of XP you get. Alright, now let's start killing the glowing behemoth, and in our case we got a 3 star. <laughs> so previously when I killed him with intelligence 34, I got 960 uh, XP, but he was never uh, a 3 star, or, or a, he wasn't a legendary. So let's see how much I'm going to give this one. Uh, and once again, my stats. Ah, 34 intelligence and no XP buffs. Right? Right. Alright, let's kill that cockroach. 960 XP. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a junkie. Some shotgun. Ooh, a three star. Hello, hello, hello. Que pasa? Critical shots do 50% more damage, faster movement speed while aiming. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm actually thinking of trying shotgun builds and move away from miniguns because this minigun is draining so much ammo, so much junk, so much lead, so much everything. <laughs> Alright, let's continue our tests. Alright, so let's go again. Uh, glowing Behemoth 95, this time power armor intelligence is 19 and not uh, 34. Previously we got uh, 960 XP for killing him, plus he was a 3 star. I've never seen one before. This this guy is level 95. No. And I should be getting 746 XP from this guy right now. 746 XP. So you're losing out on 214 XP per kill of these cockroaches. And that's is actually a pretty good deal. I mean Picture yourself killing a lot of super mutants and picture how much XP you're losing now. Picture how many events you're doing. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> the more intelligence, the more XP. Alright, so now let's take a look how much XP you get when you complete events. So right now I got intelligence 37, that's because I have the, uh, the food buff from the Boil Scorch Beast Brain, but I don't have any XP uh, bonuses. 
Seriously? Oh, there we go. This one I'm doing on public server. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. And... We got 527 XP for capturing this workshop. Now, let's capture this workshop on my private server. But this time, wearing a power armor. Alright, so now we're doing uh, the same, I mean we're capturing the same thing, but this time we've got uh, 22 intelligence because I still have the boil Squares Brain plus 3 intelligence buff on. So we should be getting less than 527 XP. And... What? Claim Warshot at 3 dots. Perfecto. So, 415, so you see, it plays a role on whatever you do, so make sure to have your high intelligence. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got to the point where I believe everyone should believe that intelligence does play a role on how much XP you're getting, so, which makes me want now to get another secret service unyielding set with plus one intelligence on each part <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna be a long long grind but anyway so uh, what other tips and tricks I have for you well first of all uh, well rested buff gives you additional XP so for that you will need a bed so if you never I'm gonna speak from perspective as if you're a new player right now okay so if you sleep on a mattress for example you'll get one hour if you sleep on the bed you will get two hours and two hours is more than enough all you got to do is just go ahead lay down and wait until you get the badge now there is another way how you can increase it to three hours I, I I haven't done it yet and I don't remember I remember someone said it to me and it has to do something with uh, having your ally being in love with you or something like that <laughs> so in that case you should be getting up to three hours but for me two hours is more than enough I do the reset all the time plus you know, so, where's the badge? Man, I swear, on beds, they did something that now you have, like, previously we had to wait around 30, ah, oh, there you go, there you go, finally, 30 seconds, well, now we gotta wait about a, about a minute, which sucks, uh, but if you have that bone, f wait, this one right here, the Commonwealth fire pit uh, it also gives you uh, the well rested buff but it kind of activates quicker so that's uh, number one thing I would definitely recommend you doing because that will give you the well rested buff and the well rested buff if my memory doesn't fail me is 5% dose so well 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 what Kindred spirit, five percent, three minutes. What? Oh, maybe because of the alley. Lol. Okay. Well, I guess I get uh, <laughs> three hours now. But if you sleep in bed, you, you should be getting two hours. Mattress, one hour. So there you go. Five percent XP. If double XP, that's ten percent. So sweet, huh? So now, uh, what else? And your charisma. If you have a friend to play with. I would definitely recommend you both using the inspirational per card because if you're using the inspirational you get 15% more XP double XP that's 30% more XP not bad huh uh, also obviously if you have a high level uh, player friend or you're a high level and you have a lot of charisma and you're in a party it will be great if you could share this because not everybody has the three ranks uh, inspirational so in that case if you share it the entire team gets 30% uh, uh, more XP uh, yeah but you need to share it and to share a level 3 card 3 stars I think you need charisma 9 so the unyielding won't help you it will it will keep removing unless well it did for me in the past you could put it but then it will automatically remove at some point so I, I don't know whether that was a bug or what uh, or what but if you have the ability of sharing the inspirational do share it uh, I use it all the time so I'm good 
Uh, so yeah, that's another way how you can get XP, so even more. Alright, now, there's also an event that can pop up. It's uh, in the uh, Landview Lighthouse. Uh, if you see it, uh, the, it's called the Path to Enlightenment, if I'm not mistaken. If you do it, you get the Mothman, you interact with the Mothman. I believe you get another 5% discount. Oh, discount, lol. <laughs> Too many Atom Shop videos. Uh, another 5% uh, XP, more XP. So, double XP, that's additional 10%. So, if you do the math, you already get kind of like 50%. Even without these XP's, just by killing death death claws, like right now, without these buffs, I was getting 1,000 XP. During double XP, I'll get 2,000 XP. Now, with Commando builds bloodied, you can go against uh, Scorch Beasts, which is even crazier because now, since I was doing this video, now I want to move back to my Commando bloody build as I used to be on PC. <laughs> because, man. I remember how I was killing those Scorch Beasts in seconds while they're flying and just... And that's giving me a lot and a lot of XP. So, Path of Enlightenment, that's another one how you get additional XP. Even more, you can cook some. You can cook some and get yourself... Uh, oh, wait, wait, since we're talking about events, let's keep talking about events. Now, if you do the Mama Doches, uh, Mama Doches, feed the people. If I'm not mistaken, that's how the event is called. Uh, you will get some food, which will give you more XP. Have in mind that food does not stack up. The beautiful about this canned meat stew, that's what you get as a reward from doing mamadochis. It doesn't spoil, so that's cool. And that's 5% XP, right? But if you have the recipes and everything, or you have a friend who can make you some of these food, then I would recommend you getting... Uh, Let's go to all food. Uh, whoops. Cranberry cobbler. So this gives you additional 5%. Ah, relish. Dang it. I don't have all the components. I need to go grab some. Alright, so I got the sugar. Here we go. And cranberry relish. This is where I'm going to be using. So, create all that goody. Oh, man. Why is it so laggy, man? I don't remember. Oh, what a pain. What the? Wow. Okay, so here we go. Let's activate this do, right? Bam. And there we go. It gives one hour, restores HP, and uh, second bonus is 5% XP. Now, they don't. I just want to prove you something is that they do not stack up. So, for example, if I eat now the cranberry relish, that should change. And it takes over, so I lose the other ability, but uh, it replaces with the 10%. So, that's what it is. So, I've covered pretty much. Alright, and there's one more little thing that I've missed out on is the bubble head. Uh, I believe it's the leader one. If you use that one, you'll get additional 5% on top of everything else that you already have. <laughs> so, uh, during double XP, obviously that's going to be 10%, so not bad. Uh, I will do a more in-depth uh, guide video on the bubble heads and how to get XP and so, and so on. This, All this, what I just mentioned, was the top of my head. I really... Uh, uh, didn't go into a lot of things. Maybe I maybe I even missed out on a couple of things. I'm not sure. But if you want, if you have your own personal tips and tricks, how about you comment those down below in the video so uh, we could combine our knowledge and make something ultimate. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right. Now I'm not sure if how many of you remember back in December 2019, I moved away from PC and uh, came to Xbox because of those hackers, cheaters, and so on and so forth. So uh, and it was a double XP when I made the move and. Thanks to Z-Clan who supplied me with some ammo, good weapons. I was able to get myself 100 levels in 5 days. Well, basically throughout the the entire double XP event. <laughs> so this time I'm going to test out how many levels I can grind out starting off today and putting some maximum effort into it. And what I plan to do is to complete whatever event pops public, not public, 
capture all the top level uh, workshops, maybe them all, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Capture all of that stuff, grab as much food as I can, crafting components, everything. Because uh, in the previous double XP, I managed to, when it started, to get myself four levels straight off the bat because I had a lot of meat. I cooked a lot of different dishes. I've uh, diluted a lot of different stim packs, uh, rat eggs, uh, rataways, and so on and so forth. That gave me a ridiculous amount of XP. So I've been uh, saving up on those, but not the meat. I haven't been doing that a lot. So. I need to start grinding, get myself correct perk cards for it. But I do have a uh, right away. Radix I sold, but a lot of stim packs, which I will sell later. And using the uh, chemist perk card and the intelligence, which doubles the quantity when crafting plus super duper, you can end up making so many stim packs. And so I sell them to the vendor or meat, and I get all that stuff like the caps from my vendors pretty much very easily and I have a whole bunch of stuff on me all the time that's why my build is carry everything leave nothing behind <laughs> that's why I love it okay I think I'll make a more in-depth detail on what I was doing and how many levels I acquired uh, in the next couple of days maybe on the weekends or maybe tomorrow I'm not sure we'll see uh, so yeah my plan is do as many events as possible, public, not public. Capture all possible high-level uh, workshops, maybe them all, I'm not sure. But I'm going to start with high-level ones and see how that is going to go for me. Uh, kill super mutants, kill the big creatures, kill all death claws. So there's two death claws in here. We can go and look for their locations. I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff. And I want to see how, how many levels I'll be able to get through this double XP. If you want me to comment down on how many levels I got uh, through this double XP and once it ends let me know down in the comments so for now I am level 219 like at the startish let's see how many levels I'll be able to grind out alright Z Clan and everybody else I wish you all happy hunting get those levels up because those legendary perk cards are on their way we'll need a lot of different cards and so on and so forth so it's time to grind baby you know the drill if you found this video useful don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them I see them I read them and I delete them have that in mind so if you want to receive replies to your comments don't swear uh, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to 4,711 Z Clan members. Woo! What up, what up, what up? And uh, if you want to play with us, feel free to join our Discord. Uh, read the rules, navigate to the Get Started chat, select, uh, click the Z uh, sign that you accept the rules. You'll get access to the general chats, then select the platform you play on. Is a PC, Xbox, PS4, and uh, select the games that you play, so you'll get access to the other chats as well. Now, yesterday I changed our auto assignment robot because the other one kind of got me annoyed with. It's been over four days that it wouldn't work and they were like, we're about to fix it, we're about to fix it. So I changed it, now everything is working. So if you just click on those things, you will automatically get uh, access to the chats. Uh, and if you've misclicked something, for example, if you mix like a, you're like Xbox, you click on P uh, PC, if you unclick the icon, you will lose uh, uh, access to, well, actually, wait, wrong, wrong. I've combined those because I was not able to do what I wanted to do essentially so I had to redo a whole bunch of other stuff still new with discord but for example if you click the on uh, that you're playing Elder Scrolls online but in reality you're not just unclick those chats will disappear click Fallout 76 and you'll have the Fallout 76 chats all right I'm gonna start talking here because I'm already dehydrated and this video took me a while to make so Z Clan and everybody else, y'all have a good morning, day, and day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future.